we are back. We back quicker, quicker than we thought. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys watching the Jackass video. Yes, thank you. It means and a lot. Thank we you. are right back at it with a new one from James Wan. Well, James Wan, Conjuring films and the Insidious films. He did the Conjuring, and Insidious. He did the Saw. He produced or was the director of all these movies. Yeah, and, and Run, Aquaman. He did Aquaman and Mortal, Mortal Fury, Kombat. Fury, he produced, I think he produced one of the producers of Mortal Kombat. Produced. And he directed Furious 7. Furious 7. So like he had his hands in a lot of he good had a lot of right big here. franchises this so, century. This is back on the horror thing though so yeah. you know he did annabelle and conjuring and insidious so this one is called malignant um it's coming to hbo max hbo max so it'll be the same yeah same day release type thing so you don't have to go to theaters to see it you know you don't so. have to but the theater owners obviously after this weekend would really love you to go to the <laughs> right right the theaters are doing good right now yeah. but um before we jump right into the trailer we need you guys it's to a, hit the, the like button and hit the subscribe button and we are back and we back let's get it malignant let's go oh that's just not that's Ooh. Oh, he's really going back to his roots with this one. Hello? His best was named as Gabriel. I think he's someone from my past. So, so insidious and a conjurer, I think. September 10th. Okay, so after Shang-Chi, um... Okay, I'm a little startled here. Uh, um, <laughs> this this looks this looks very interesting. Um, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, you watch these trailers, you beginners try to guess who is that? What is it? Yeah, you know, he's been with her the whole life and he hasn't tried to kill her yet. Most horror movies with all that hair, I'm thinking it's her in a way. Yeah. She just made another... I don't it, know. It, it's something like it's just a manifestation. Yeah. Like she, of her, you know, something else, but um, and it could be her the whole time. Like maybe looks, she was the I killer. Mind, it looks, it looks like the kind of movie you definitely actually want to. Can I be really honest? The kind of movie you want to see on a Friday night with a Friday Friday packed audience, packed audience in the theater. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I, I know yeah. they have the option for HBO Max. Yeah, but and while that I works, that, that works if you're watching alone and if it's scary enough. Yeah, yeah, it definitely works. But there is right. nothing like being. The theatrical experience of watching a, a good horror movie, not a, a bad movie. horror, not a, a right. good horror movie. And this guy has a good track. Yeah, movie. he has a great track. I mean, this is Come really on Saul. And, and they were insidious. smart. They were smart to put those other movies. Oh, that yeah. he's been yeah, because maybe not everyone knows that who the director they is, might, but, yeah. but they see that. That's they a great that. pedigree. 
yeah. of um, film. So I, I, it looks like a, the world was melting all around her mm -hmm. and stuff. It, it, it was it was interesting. N nothing good comes from when you show the home the old home movie footage. Oh, and nothing man. no no good ever comes. And she just looked to the left. Hey, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, who are you hey, talking to? Hey, Gabriel. <laughs> it's like oh, <laughs> oh my man. Yeah, nothing ever. No, nothing good ever comes of that. But um, yeah. it looks good though. I, it I, looks it looks very interesting. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow that was her. Some about all that hair, and then you see mm -hmm. movies where people make other personalities in their head and well, don't know what they're doing. And well, things. the most famous is Fight Club. Fight Fight Club is the most well, at least to me, because it's one of my all-time favorites. That's, a good, one. that's no, a good one. No, but I didn't. I was that's looking at. I was. I was watching this interview of all things that Rosie O'Donnell mm -hmm. supposedly did not know that she spoiled Fight Club when she had her daytime talk show. Mm -hmm. She she didn't like it, so she spoiled the movie. Mm -hmm. And she had no idea until three years later that she had someone on the show and I'm like, hey, you spoiled the movie and the Brad Pitt and Ed Norton hate your guts for it. Wow. <laughs> so I, I, I think she learned from that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, no, no, it, it looks it looks good though. I gotta it's say, this looks, looks really good. I, I think everybody should lie, be in line to see this one, especially based off of all his other movies. If you, even if we don't know what this is about, based on his guy's track record, right. you got it. You got it. It's a great track record. It's a little bit. It's a great track what record. What it's gonna be like? So September tenth. September tenth. September tenth. September is like really piling up here. I mean, you got yeah. Shang Chi, you got um the Sopranos, the Many Saints of Newark, Ooh, Many Saints of Newark, um, Venom two. So I mean, we got a lot of um. Should we get another trailer for that too? Yeah, we definitely. I hope so. I hope so. So you know, you guys be on the lookout for that hey. September tenth. September tenth. Yeah, we appreciate hey. you guys. Thank you watching. so much. As always, thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back thank with more reactions. Yeah. Thank you.